Hi and welcome to the Windows Kernel Programming Fundamentals course here on Pentester Academy. My name is Pavel and I'll be your guide throughout this course. So to get access to the kernel API we need to include various headers. The main header is called ntddk.h and this is the most complete generic header. And by generic I mean it doesn't uh, contain some specific um, parts of the Windows driver kit such as USB or NDIS, but all the basic information is there. Alternatively, you can use the WDM.h header, which is included by NTDDK uh, by default if you want to only use WDM compliant uh, stuff. But uh, this is not really uh, useful these days, and so there's no reason to, uh, to include that specifically, and just you can just go ahead and include NTDDK.h. And then there are various specialized headers that you need to include if you do uh, need to call some of these APIs. And so these are all part of the Windows uh, driver kit. So let's start writing a driver which we'll write in this and the next module. And so I'm going to use the new project uh, properties here for the legacy driver. It's not really legacy. Uh, but this is the way it's called in the project templates become, because we're going to use the WDM uh, empty template driver. We don't need anything uh, fancier because we're not writing a driver for a hardware device. We're not writing something like a mini filter at this point. We're going to write a very simple driver, so I want to start from scratch. And so I'm going to select a name for my driver. I'm going to call that uh, process uh, power. And so the process power driver uh, is going to uh, be a driver that allows me to open a handle to any process that I want with all possible permissions, including protected processes or any other process that I want. So I'll be able to do whatever I want with that process from user mode. And so we'll start uh, very uh, simple and then uh, increase the complexity of that driver until we have a fully blown driver and a client application. So once I create this uh, empty project, it's not completely empty. It has one file in it, which is the process power INF file. So this is an INF file, which could be used for installing the driver. However, as I will show you later, it's not actually needed for these types of drivers. And in fact, just complicates things a little bit. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete that uh, completely so that we have now a really empty uh, driver. However, all the proper settings for the compiler and linker are set up correctly, so we can go ahead and start writing our code. So I'm going to go to the source file uh, filter here and just add a new item. And that item is going to be a C++ file. And I'm going to call that uh, process power. So it's going to be process power.cpp. And so I'm using C++ here, but you can use C if you want. If you simply change the extension of the file to C, then by default the C compiler will be invoked rather than the C++ compiler. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is include for ntddk.h. This is going to be my first include because I know that most of the APIs I'm going to need to use are somewhere within that uh, header or headers it includes itself. And so we have our first uh, source line in the driver, which is something to start with. Let's go back to the slides. And so what is really a driver? A driver is not a thread. A driver is not a process. A driver is just a set of functions that are exported and known to the kernel, and so the kernel can call them when appropriate. So a driver actually can create threads if it wants to for its particular uh, use. However, it doesn't have to. In most cases, it's invoked by some client code. And so we have the IO system, which we can think of as the kernel or the executive. And then there are various functions that the driver can export. And so the first one, which we look at in a moment, is driver entry. So driver entry is the main of a driver. In fact, every type of driver must have a driver entry function. There's no way around it. This is where the driver is going to initialize the rest of uh, its exported functionality and whatever else it needs to do to get ready uh, to be actually used. There's another function called the add device function, which is only useful for hardware-based devices. So I'm not going to need or use it in this course. 
and then we're going to use a set of dispatch routines. And so dispatch routines is the way to expose functionality from a driver, such as a read operation or a write operation or create or close, and we'll see the common operations we're going to use uh, in this course uh, later on. And then there are various other possible functions some drivers uh, expose, but for this, uh, for our drivers, these are not needed and these are typically used by hardware-based drivers. And so now we're practically ready to start writing our driver entry function. Mm -hmm.